All right, so why Abraham sacrificed Isaac? Of course, in the biblical narrative, he does not sacrifice Isaac. Uh, he is saved in the nick of time by the angel of the Lord. Um, but the thing you have to remember is that the biblical narrative was responding to an earlier narrative, an earlier tradition. And in that tradition, uh, Abraham did sacrifice Isaac. And so the other thing you have to remember is that the biblical narrative is... Uh, political propaganda. And so what it's trying to achieve is that um, Abraham, well, the Israelites wanted to lay claim to the land that, that they were in. And the tradition said that that, long belong, that land belonged to Abraham. And so they needed to splice their line, uh, their genetic line into the line of Abraham. Uh, and so in order to do that, uh, everyone knew that, that, you know, they weren't they weren't the descendants of Abraham, and so in order to do that, they had to resurrect a um, they had to resurrect someone related to Abraham and then splice Israel into that line. And in this case, it was Isaac, uh, who was sacrificed by Abraham, and so uh, this is also done in the in the Joseph story. Uh, Joseph uh, had also died, and but the descendants of Ephraim and Manasseh needed to splice their descendants into the line of Israel, and so they resurrected the uh, character of Joseph. So there was a couple other shifts that the biblical biblical author had to do. One was he had to make uh, Sarah the wife of Abraham, which she was not. Uh, Abraham was uh, Sarah's uh, brother. Uh, but the biblical na- narrative can say, oh, well, that's a lie. Abraham just lied about being um, Sarah and Abraham being siblings so that, you know, they wouldn't get in trouble with uh, Abimelech. So that's, that's one shift. The other shift is that Isaac, Isaac was not Abraham's son. And so he was, Isaac was Abimelech's son, son, and so the biblical author has to shift that narrative over so that Isaac is Abraham's son. And then uh, the author also had to deal with uh, the descendants of Ishmael trying to lay claim to the land. And so they, uh, the author makes Ishmael an uh, illegitimate son of Abraham. So that's that in a nutshell is what that story is all about. And uh, so it explains a lot of the uh, odd things that happen in that story. And if you want to know how I reconstructed the original narrative that the biblical narrative was responding to, I use a technique called mirror reading. And uh, you can check out my website, mirrorreading.com. Um, I have a blog post on the Abraham cycle. Uh, I also have a podcast. I've changed my views a little bit on the on the Abraham cycle since doing that, but it still gives you a good idea of uh, how I put things together.